Okay, guys, what's up? It's a YouTube troll, aka okay, Papa Birdo. And um, I went on Staten Island today, and there was an article where it said team battle versus single battle confirmed. So, you know, based on the new screenshots we got today, uh, there was a few where a character had supports while the other one didn't. And, you know, that's an indication that you're going to be able to either not pick any supports and fight by yourself, or you can choose to, you know, have support. It's just that simple. And I think this is good because it's going to change the way people play to a certain extent, okay? Now, here's what I mean by that, okay? So, right now, the support system has been around ever since the Storm series started, okay? And it's given people this mindset that they need to rely on supports in order to play a match. And with this new feature, I think it'll change the way people think because you're going to have that availability of playing by yourself and you're going to start being more independent, you know, with your character. Meaning, well, you don't have any supports. Right off the get-go, you're going to know that you're going to have to rely on this one character that you're playing as. And I think, personally, it's going to change the mindset of how you play and how you fight and how you approach everything. And not only that, but I think that when you do actually decide to use supports, I think it's going to help out with how you use them as well. You know, you're not going to rely on them as much, they're going to help you out, but you're not going to count on them to win you the match. And you guys may say, well, nobody really counts on supports to win you the match just to help you out. Let me give you an example right here. You see people using like Hanzo with Neji Kimimaro supports, and why do you think that? Because the supports themselves give you such a huge advantage that it almost gives you the match itself. And I feel that if people try this game mode out, it'll help them out in that sense where they, they won't rely on support as much. And a matter of fact is this feature will be on the player battle spotlight. Meaning like it's gonna be on tournaments and endless and stuff like that more than ranked. Because let's face it man, on ranked, even on the fucking demo, people are trying to get their sprite sponsorship man. They're thirsty as shit for that BP. They're not gonna just fucking go without supports and gonna go commando trying to be badass. They're gonna fucking make sure they use the cheapest shit possible to get their BP. And on Revolution, it's even harder now to get to match BP or hero and shit. So you know that shit's gonna be fucked up. And, uh, but for player battle, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun, personally. Uh, because let's say for, for tournaments, people can show off and not use any support. For player battles, you can play with friends, and there's that boundary that you guys don't cross, you know, which is play like a bitch. Alright, you guys do not cross that boundary. And I think that's good because it's gonna be more fun to just simply go all out without having to worry about the other person playing like a complete scrub. And you know what, overall, I like the feature, I can't wait to try it out. And uh, if anything, if it's actually coming to rent and stuff like that, um, I'll actually be able to play with no supports and I think that'll be good for videos and stuff like that because I can actually improve as a player. But let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.